Hola, it's Cooking with Crown. Welcome to the channel. I am Crown Channings, and today we'll be cooking some wings. So I haven't posted in a couple weeks. Are we surprised? We'll see if you guys will actually be able to hear me since I'm in the kitchen as well. I don't even know if you can hear the people out there or not. But let's get started. I'm following a recipe online. I'll probably not put it in the link in the description because I just picked the first one I could find and went with it. So, let's get started. I already did the first step. I already got everything taken out and prepared. Well, prepared as in set out at the table. This is probably going to be like some makeup tutorials where it says do this and I'm going to be like, how about we don't do that because it's not convenient. Like I said, it's not convenient. I don't have a big bag to mix it all in. So I guess we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way and just shake it on. I'm wearing a little apron that my grandma got me, so yeah. I don't have to work. We're out of aluminum foil right now, so we're just gonna have to suffer and deal with it. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm making some macaroni and cheese, stuff like that, with our wings, and I'm making chicken for the editor in the other room. We're probably gonna let this defrost a little more because it's been out for four, like a couple hours, like four hours, but it's still kind of frozen. So we'll have to see and do that. We're also going to clean up as we go because it's a healthy habit that we're trying to get into. It's never too late to start being healthy in your actions. It's never too early either, even though some people like to say this. I don't know why they like to say that, but they do. So we're going to let these get a little bit of the ice off of it and then we'll add our flavors. All of my, uh, what's the word? All of my um, social medias are in the description. You could have seen this story. And I'm lunging at him is doing nothing, which is charming. We love that. We love that. Except for you wouldn't have because for some reason Snapchat decided to get rid of 90% of my story. I don't know why. Well, not 90%, like a good 10% that's kind of important. But still, you could have missed out some great content. So I guess you better follow me on Snapchat and all my other descriptions. You're, it's my jacket! No, it's not. Isn't it's it? mine now. I've propagated it from you. Wrong place. Just open the oven to take a plate out. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to use this huge thing because we don't have anything small to use. For Malia, it's just one piece of. How many pieces of chicken do you have? Two. Two pieces of chicken. Ah! Cold water on my sock! On my foot! You sure you want to? Oh, no. These are two. This is two. The heart of a chicken. Why are chickens called cowards if they're like the bravest creatures out there? They're not brave. Have you seen them fight? Roosters? Oh, that's, I guess that's why it's a chicken, not the heart of a rooster. Are you going I'm talking about how they go after and chase people. You can find funny, of, funny videos on the internet of chickens and roosters going to fight one another. I'll also put this in there to make sure that warms up. I have a story for you that you could have almost missed for my Snapchat if it posted on my Snapchat. So, last night, I believe it was, around midnight, if I had to guess, I decided to take the trash out because I didn't want to stress. Well, because it's something I need to get done, so it got done. Right? So I went to take the trash out and instead of going in the garage, because right now there's some stuff in the way due to other things happening, um, I decided that I was going to open the garage and then go out front and, um, and put the trash in the trash can there. So I go and do that. Before I even come downstairs, God's like, take your phone with you. And I'm like, nah, I'll be fine. I don't need my phone. It needs to charge. It's only on like 20%. So I don't take my phone. Before I, like... Before, as I'm going downstairs, God's like, put on some longer pants, you're gonna want on longer pants. And I'm like, nah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna run out there and take care of it real quick. Cause I didn't even come downstairs in the first place to take out the trash. I just came down to check on things. Check on my dad, make sure everything's all good. And then, 
before I even leave, God's like, and I'm putting shoes on, he's like, put on some covered shoes. And I'm like, nah, I'll be fine. I just need to put on some flip flops, you know, all good. So I go out there, put away the trash in there, close the garage, and I look down at my feet, and there I see a spider, like, with its legs out, like, that big. That big. At my feet, and I'm like, <laughs> And I'm like jumping it and it starts jumping too. And it's like Ugh. and I'm like, oh but better back off, buddy. Back off. And he won't back off. So I'm like running away because you know I'm the bravest thing in the, all of existence. And I go to like run in the house and it stops on like I have a little pathway that is like an L. It starts stops, like this is the L. It stops on this uh, panel right here, the tile. It stops there, and I'm like, oh, you want to fight? And I'm like, lunging at it. I'm like, you want to go? It's like, you're the spider right now. Want to go? Well, if you're the spider, it'd be work. That. Like, jumping at you. He don't move. In fact, he goes. And I'm like, oh, you're gutsy. I am not. So I'm like going, oh my like, god. You gotta let me out of here, man. You gotta get me. You gotta let me go. I gotta get in the house. You know, it was raining earlier that day, and the grass is going to be soggy. Okay, fine. I, bleh, it doesn't really matter to me right now, but it does make it a bit humid. So being humid and me being up there, not a good mix. Mostly, it's not a good mix because I don't want to be out there. So I'm out there starting pacing up and down the driveway. God, you got to help me. God, I cannot pass this spider. It's too big. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. And God's like, you're fine. You're brave. Just do it. I got you. you show me you're brave. I'm not, I'm not brave, man. I'm not brave. And I realize now, the more that I think about it, and it's something that happened earlier, if I sit there and dwell, then like the fear rises up in me much faster. Other than if I just do it. And I didn't do it. So I'm out there like five minutes by this point, talking to God like, do you, do, it's not, I know you don't hate me. I'm your child, I'm a beloved creation. You don't hate me. But you're acting like you're working me right now, if you. And it's just like, God, do you want to talk to me? Is that what it is? Do you want to talk to me? Is this like, was I not listening before? Do you want to talk? Because as Christians, we like to rationalize that something is happening because God wants to talk to us or something like that. Not always true. Just the way it is. It's life. And, um, I go to try to lunge at the spider again, you know, and I'm even at one point, I'm like, you wanna go? You wanna fight? Let's go, my fist is up. I know you got eight legs, I got two legs and two arms, let's go. It don't wanna go. It's staying in the same spot. At this point, it was also in the shadows, so I'm like, is it a leaf? No, if it is, if, if it is a spider, then it will bite me. I don't wanna be bit. I don't wanna deal with that. At all. So I don't. And I'm looking around, I'm like, okay. Sidewalk, there's grass there, grass there. I don't like bugs being on me. Nobody does. And if you do, it depends on the bug. Like a butterfly lands gently upon her. That's a lovely thought. Now, if someone says a cockroach gently lands upon her, that's a much different approach and a much different feeling and will always be, unless you're some kind of writer that romanticizes cockroaches, if you're out there and you can successfully do that, good for you, not me. So I'm like, I can walk around the grass. That's what I do, I'll walk around the grass. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to do that. There could be bugs in there too. I'm like, I can go around the other side of the house and knock on my dad's window because his room's in the back. First of all, there's more grass. Second of all, I've seen a rabbit back there. Not so bad, but there's a lake back there that has alligators. And my, knowing my luck, an alligator could be sitting there waiting for me and then just <laughs> my leg off. And plus, if I knock on the window, my dad would be like, and then I also scare him too, which I don't want to do. Well, that'd be funny. I might have to do that a different time, but not now. That wasn't the moment. So I'm thinking, oh, fine, okay, fine, I'll just run in the grass. I'll do what I have to do. I'll run in the grass instead of jumping over the spider. As I go to, as I'm starting to think about that a bit more and rationalize it, I look back at the spider and suddenly I see a different spider, bigger than that, crab walk its way across the thing, across the sidewalk, in front of the other spider, disappear into the grass. And that's when I'm like, okay, no grass. I'm not getting in the grass. It's like he knew. He knew what I was thinking. He's like, oh, I'm gonna just get the crap out of her. This is gonna be great. And he went in the grass. I don't know what I did to spiders. 
I know a couple of years ago I went to take the trash around back because we moved it up front in the last couple of years and there's a huge fat web, like a banana spider, which is this big, right there and it almost landed on my face and I was like Bruh. And the next morning I walked into its web that I put out front and suffered there too. I think it's a revenge story. I can't, I don't know. After seeing that spider crap walk by, I decided I'm not gonna go through the grass. I'm not dealing with that. So, I decide after another couple minutes, I'll throw my shoes at it. That'll be fine. It was not. So, I take out one flip flop, I eat it at him. And I missed. It bounced away into the grass. Then, I throw my other shoe. It hits him! Kind of. It hit him halfway, he screws his side, and it lands right next to him where I can't tell if it's on his legs or not because like I said, he was in the shadows. Not the point, but you understand what I'm saying. Now I'm barefoot on the concrete where there are other bugs that I wanted to avoid that are not on in the grass but on the concrete. And I think I'm right next to the garage. I could pound on the garage. Maybe my father will hear me since he, I know he's up. But wait, the garage can be opened. So I go over to the garage, I try to open it, but as I walk towards the garage, I remember I saw a tiny little spider there about two days ago. And I remember there's a web there. And I think, well, the spiders are out to get me, the big ones, what's to say the small ones aren't? And the small ones are more deadly. So it took me about three minutes to work up the courage to hurry up there, try to open it, and I realized, after a couple of attempts, I cannot open it. I don't know how. Charming! So, I start pounding on the garage. Surely my father will hear me. I pray to God, please help my sister and my father to hear me. Let them know that I'm crying out to them in soul to save me. God said, jump over the spider. You better. I said, no. I'm not ready if I can't do it. Please send them. I can't do this. God, please send them. <laughs> nothing. Nothing whatsoever. This goes on for another three to five minutes. And I look down the street, because something told me to look, probably God, and I see a woman walking with her dogs. I don't know why she was walking in the middle of the night with two dogs, but they're big dogs, so don't worry about the woman's concern. We're in a gated community. She's all safe and all good. I didn't hear anything bad happen to anyone in the community, so she's all good. I decided I should probably stop slamming my hand on the garage door with someone right there watching me. So I pretend like I'm having an emotional moment. Like something inside the house is happening. Like, oh no. I do just dress to go inside because that's what normal people do when they're outside at the middle of the night, correct? And it's not because they're full-grown adults afraid to go in the house because a spider was there. That would be a moral logical thing. And as she's walking by, I think, I'll just tell her there's a spider in front of my house. Then I won't look like a creep. And that is a common sense thing. I should have done that. I thought she'll understand. But what if she comes over here with her dogs and something happens and the spider jumps and the dogs freak out and then she loses her dogs or they panic or something like that and she gets hurt. So she kept walking by and all I did was and stare off into the distance where my door is. Not where the door is because the door is around the corner but towards my neighbor's house. And I'm like, I'll be hearing about this the next morning on her community Facebook page. Huh. And in that moment, I remember she walked by and said, Sure is a good thing I'm not a man. Sure is a good thing I'm not a black man. Or a white black woman for that matter. Because the police would have been called on me. And that probably wouldn't have ended the brightest, even if it was my own house. Anyway, she walks down there. I start pounding on my garage again. Nothing. I thought my father heard. I thought I heard my father coming. It was not him. It was a lady coming back down the street. I'm sure she was trying to spend as much time down the street so she didn't have to walk by me again. Because she would have to look at me again. And we'd have to make that eye contact. I'm like, oh, I don't want her to see me outside the house again. That'd be kind of weird. I should come back inside because a normal person would have come back inside by this point, right? After they see someone walk down the street, the polite thing would be to go inside and face the problems in there. I wanted to do the polite thing, but there was a spider right there. And it was looking rather aggressive. It already jumped. It's already aggressive. It's already to go. I've already threatened the species in the past. I'm just another one off its hit list. It's gonna get me. So the lady walks past. I stopped slamming the garage door because I realized it echoes down the street. And that's when I realized, well, oh, they're not coming for me, my or dad. Like I said, I don't have my phone. Can't call anyone. I'll be out here till dawn. At one point, I did try to jump, and I thought, I'm not a Minecraft character. I can't jump that far. So she walks back down the street, past there, and I think for sure she's going to go on Facebook. 
and that she thought I was gonna do something or something like that. So I'm like, ooh, this is not good. What do I do? What do I do? And I'm like, I'll jump. No, well, and then I, I did it. I jumped. I made it over. I jumped, I turned, I ran in the house, slammed the door shut, locked it because spiders can open doors without a lock on it apparently, wiped off my legs as hard, fast as hard as I could, looked around it, looked around it, nothing. And I go immediately to my dad's room and I say, didn't you hear the knocking on the, on the, on the garage? And he looked at me and he's like, no. And I told him the whole story and he made fun of me. He's like, oh no, was it a spider this big? I'm like, it was like that big with the legs out. He's like, oh sure. And I'm like, it was, it was. He's like, how do you know it wasn't a husk? You know, like the skin of a spider? And I'm like, I don't. He's like, it could have been a leaf. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a leaf. It was rather big. And I go upstairs, tell my sister the same thing. I go to tell the story on Snapchat. Snapchat doesn't save it. Go to my Snapchat. Go to the description to find all my social medias. I hear it's raining. So later that night, or the day after, no, later that night, I run downstairs. I run out there and grab my shoes as fast as I can because I like those shoes and those shoes were, I got those shoes the same day a snake almost strangled me at school and the same day that, uh, and the same day that two people looked at my shoes and went, this, those shoes. It was the same day that the Keelys were called rollerblades, like in the description, uh, in the right hand corner is that story if you want to see it. It's the same day that uh, people made fun of me for being Christian. So those shoes kind of meant it to me because they were like a memory thing. So I ran out there, grabbed it as fast as I could. So all the spider was still there. I still, I'm like, give it to me. Got it, ran back inside, slammed the shoes on the ground in case there was something up. Go out a couple minutes later, the spider's still there. I take a picture of it. It doesn't move. The next day, I go to look at it. It was the husk. I was trying to fight for 20 minutes with a husk of a spider. Right now I looked at it, he said, that's, that's a small spider. And I said, it wasn't that small. Well, I fought it like a warrior. So that was fun. I love fighting fake spiders. Who does it? Definitely. I think it was funny. A great story. Would not recommend that you do it yourself because they don't fight back. And it's not that epic of a tale if you say that the spider did nothing. Except for unless it's me telling the tale. But it is pretty cool. Because I'm a cool person. Now we're going to season the wings and go. Taking out wings. I thought for a second I took out the food with just my hands and I'm like, where did it go? I don't have any garlic cloves and that's what it calls for. It calls for garlic and garlic powder. So we're just gonna deal with that in and of itself. And we're gonna pretend it, it just says three things of garlic powder instead of, you know, garlic cloves because they're totally the same. Every single cook out there is screaming at me. Three tablespoons of olive oil. We're only gonna put half one in this one because there's only four there. Well, we might put a full one. We'll see how far one goes. Don't worry, I'm gonna flip them. Well, I hope this is a teaspoon. I live with a cook, and I'm not gonna go in the other room and ask him because I'm lazy. I need some chili powder, which we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use paprika. What, what is that? What is that? Hee <laughs> hee, so many people are gonna be mad at me. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm sure some of you Gen Z people are saying my life was a mistake. It doesn't have to be. But then I sound like your mom if I say that. And turn everything into a lecture. We're gonna add some more garlic. Only. Oh no! Oh, oh crap! That's not good. Uh, wow, these are gonna be really garlicky. I'm not gonna give these to my dad, and he'll just say, "I appreciate what you did, but it's a little garlicky." And I'll say, "Yeah, you'll never guess what happened." And he'd be like, you spilled it, didn't you? And I'd say, wow, how did you know? He's like, I can taste it because I'm a master chef. Well, and I just spilled it on the counter. Right there, you see that? A waste. And we're gonna have to clean that up after because we're cleaning up as we go because we're being responsible adults. And I just spilled some more. We're being responsible adults and we're trying to make ourselves better people. So we have to clean up as we go this time. Well, I clean up as I go anytime. Well, not anytime, I'm learning to do that because that's what responsible adults do. Okay, good. We're still recording. This time we're not going to use this much garlic. Because you live, learn, la vida with the little coca. That was me trying to say la vida la vaca, la vida loca from Shrek. Guess what? For anyone in the Dolan Twin fandom, it's extra virgin oil. Like Grayson. Except for in his, uh, Truth Detector video, they said that wasn't true. I don't care though. I was just trying to make a joke, but I knew people would be upset if I didn't say that in the video. Not that. <sighs> <laughs> it's 
smart. And then we still need to put a pinch of salt and pepper on both sides. Happy little mistakes. I should make a video like Bob Ross, but it's just me silently raging as things go wrong. I just do a video where it's like scenes I want to see in the future, and then it's the Guardian of the Galaxy scene. Alright, a pinch of salt. As you can see, a lot of the flavoring already fell off because I flipped it. And salt. Wow, that is a lot of salt. Good thing these are mine. Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. I don't want to be like Zuko. Ah! And she just breathes silent deeply so that means she can hear me. She'll look at me now to confirm. Go ahead and keep your secrets. I'll be there. Waiting for you to reveal them. Learning to cook isn't actually as hard as I thought it was going to be in the, f in the past. I like, didn't want to learn to cook because I always thought it was really hard. It's really not. You just go with it. And if you fail, it's only one meal. As long as you don't kill anyone, then it'll be fine. I feel like almost that's a motto of life. If you don't, it's fine as long as you don't kill anyone. But it's really not because there are other things in life you shouldn't do. Like stealing. Is this me talking, talking like a mom or what? Gen Z humor. If only I had a bomb. Gen Z guys like to joke as if Batman had a sense of humor. I don't know why I'm talking about them so much. Because they're interesting. Look, look at the beasts out in the wild. They ain't treating me so. Jimmy Crockett, there's another one. Another what? A millennial. <gasps> ah, this is scary. Well, I don't have any more oil. No more blessings upon this house. Uh, is there? There is. I'm glad somebody's got eyes. Because it's not me. Now we're using corn oil, which is not anywhere close to the recipe either. Yeah, do as you can. Jimmy Crockett. Look at that. I'm a lady. Ah, this is Karen. What did they do? They mostly sit on the computers all day and get very upset. Over what? Depends on the day. Are their feelings valid? Everyone's feelings are valid. You should respect a millennial. Because different cultures do not mean you don't respect them. Because generational culture is a thing. And you should respect anyone, even if they had different ideals than you. Wow, you're so cool! I can't believe I'm learning respect from you. You think it'd be something that we learn from everyone. You think so, but a lot of people don't understand the conceptual understanding. And that's okay, because we need to be nice to them. Because just because they don't understand doesn't mean we have to be mean. It just means that we have to explain our point of view. And if our point of view makes them angry, then that's the way things are sometimes. You've got to learn to respect people no matter what. Wow, I never would have thought. Oh, I just spilled some of the sink. Now I'm focusing really hard so I don't spill anymore. The more I record, the more I realize how clumsy I am. And I don't know if that's because there's a camera on me, or if it's because I who I am. Is this who I am? Is this who I'm destined to be? I like how based on the fact that my dad told me where the oil was, he's listening to everything I'm saying right now. He's just pretending he isn't for my own sake. He doesn't really care. He raised me to be this awesome. Because he's a cool dude like that who accepts his kids because he loves them. God. What a cool dad. I wish I had a dad. I, I know, know, David. I'm sad. I, I know, know, David. I just know. Did you kill my parents? Maybe. Oh, no. Come on. More paprika down the street. See. More paprika down the train. English is my... Actually... English is not anywhere close to my name. My real name is not... Oh crap. That's not my name either. I forgot how much I like recording videos. I'll have to start recording more often. That way I can upload more often. Wow, what a thought process. I never would have shut up. I have to finish the job. We're trying to be responsible. Usually I just dump it on there. Like I just shake it. I just finished filling up this water for the macaroni. Because the vegetables I have can be put in the microwave. Doesn't make them taste the best, but they're made. You know, just say la vie. Oh, ah! The seam hit my hand and I was not expecting that. Not expecting that to jewel. Oh, I didn't mean to take that one out first. Is all the YouTube chefs proud of me? Probably not, because I'm not following the recipe. What are you gonna do, huh? Are you gonna fight me? <laughs> I'd appreciate prayers for my family. We're going through some stuff. Just because other people are having a bad time. Does it make your bad time any less valued? For another 15 minutes, and hopefully the food will be ready. I'm take a swig. I only really like frappes from McDonald's because I don't really like coffee. Actually, I don't like coffee. I think it's bitter and disgusting. The same for 
Or how many weird they have. Hello. Tara's in here. Coffee lovers can be like, what do you do? Like coffee? Are you even in it? Do? Still an adult. If you like watching cartoons, still an adult. If whatever. Because being an adult does not mean you can stop having fun. I'm proof of that. I'm having a blast while cooking. Spilling garlic powder, saying I'll follow the recipe and then not really. But you can find adventure and life and happiness and everything you do. If you look for it. I think I just saw a baby spider and killed it. Not baby spider, but a tiny one. What do you think? Should I set it free? Show the spiders I'm of a kinder nature that they are. Pretending to threaten me with their injustices. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna show spiders that I mean true peace and true life. Get out of that napkin. Get out of that napkin. I don't think you're actually on the there. I, maybe this is why. Maybe it was an accident. Like, I just accidentally killed the tiny spider. Maybe spiders really do like me. And that's why they like to hug my face. Or maybe they hate me because I just killed a tiny spider. And they want revenge for their kind. I don't mean to have an issue. I don't mean to kill. It just happened. It is what it is. Anyone watching this, tell me if they want a cooking video next week or if they want a makeup blooper video next week because I still have to do the makeup blooper video or maybe you want both videos next week you know to make up tell me in the comment section what you would like because I am technically supposed to be tw posting twice a week aren't I so yeah I know my limits my limits are one video a week right now because um, if I do two videos a week then I'd be very upset and depressed and I won't have enough time to do other stuff I want to do and I am not upset with that because I accept my limitations and I know that my limitations will grow the more that I get better because I'm not fast enough in doing one video because usually one video takes me like two, uh, day, two days out of a week which for my editor who's been going to college to learn how to do cinema works it takes her less than an hour to edit a video and I had one video that I've uploaded to the channel that took me like a month to edit and I edit it almost, not almost every day, but about almost at least two to four times a week. And she got one of those same life, same kind of videos out in an hour. So you can't judge yourself based on things that you're bad at. Because it's not fair. Just because somebody else is better at them doesn't mean you're less than them. It just means that they're better at it. And you can always grow to be better than them. Not better than them. Well, you can, in skill, but you can still grow to be better. Here's my macaroni. Well, there's nothing in there yet. So if you hear a hum in the background, that's because of the microwave. I always hated the macaroni stuff because I never know where this bag is or if there's a smaller bag for the cheese. So I'm always paranoid that um, I'm going to dump the bag in there and then ruin the food that I like. I don't know if there's like an extra bag or something like that. So I always get a wee bit concerned. I don't know, maybe that's a personal thing. I cheesed it up. That was almost a bad mistake. I did take a French class, but I don't know French because I didn't care to learn. I only took it because it would look good on college things. And I didn't take it another year, even though that looks good at college things too. But I'm taking it on one college, so I don't really care. Now we're gonna dump this back in here. Wow, that went really badly. Great, we love that. Don't leave the butter on the oven like I'm doing right now. And I mean don't leave it there as in indefinitely. Because then it'll melt your butter and then your chef that's a dad will not be happy because he's like, my butter. You gotta check if it's fully cooked or not. Oh, I should have put butter on the bottom. should have buttered it. This is why you put aluminum oil, I mean oil, aluminum foil on, this is cooked, on the bottom of these because you can see that it's, cake, it's gonna get caked if I don't take care of it soon which is why I'm going to take care of it when I can. We're going to put this, these on a plate. It kind of smells like seafood. I don't know how that's possible. Yep, looks good. 
Alright, Dad's food is all done. That needs to be cooked for a little bit longer. I'm gonna give myself some macaroni. I think I put too much milk in here. I don't need to measure. It'll be fine. And this is our finished food. I'm going to put our vegetables in a different container. I am not going to have these little guys, yellow stuff, because I don't like them. My sister likes them, so she can have them. I'm going to put some of that in here. And that little piece went straight into my food. Oh, I'm tired. I had a long day today. But I really enjoyed making this video. This is the bright light to convince. Nee. You're falling, man. You gotta stay up straight. Hi, Cinderella. I'll put a picture of Cinderella on YouTube for dog lovers. Let's see if this recipe is good or not. Like I said, it smells like seafood. I don't know why. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's nice, soft, pretty tender too. Just right for chicken. Um, it's not overcooked. It's not undercooked. So yeah. That was actually pretty darn good. I really enjoyed the food. I'm not gonna put the recipe in the description because I didn't follow the recipe. You'll have to watch the video to find out what I did and then you'll have to say, hmm, that's not a very helpful video to watch. And I'll say, yeah, it isn't. Since you insist on being done here, I'm gonna try the macaroni real quick. I think it's gonna need salt because the last time I made macaroni I didn't add any salt and this one probably will need it. Yeah, that needs salt. Let me try some of my vegetable. It's okay. As our parting time is of an end soon. Let me help you stand up a little better. I'm gonna ask my dinner date, you to like, subscribe, and comment below what food I should do next. If you want a cooking video next cha uh, next next video, or if you want the makeup bloopers, or if you want both. And I want to thank you very much, very much for watching this wonderful video. And please um, share with anyone you'd like to, honestly. Anyone you think that could say that they are better cooked than me, you have them watch this, and then they'll be like, wow, this person's really uh, clumsy, and they'll be you and then you'll be like, yeah, apparently you didn't watch the end of the video because that's exactly what she said. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you do like and subscribe. The social medias are in the description below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Why don't you join the ride and subscribe? Bye. Maybe my father will hear me this time. Nothing. I'm starting to freak out more because... You scared the crap out of me. I just got to the bathroom. All I heard was... It's me slamming the garage door. Don't you understand? Okay.